Tulsa City Council is considering a temporary halt on permits for medical marijuana licenses until changes can be made to zoning. Two works for you anchor Corey Duke is live at City Hall tonight with what it would mean. Corey. Well, Brian, the vote is expected to pass tonight by the city council. However, several members of the public came out tonight to speak against the agenda item. Now, the moratorium of temporary halt, as you said, only applies to processing facilities and commercial growing operations. If approved by the city, this will prevent processors and growers from getting any kind of city license, such as a building permit or occupancy license, essentially any license the city issues. Opponents believe this is a huge blow to small marijuana-based businesses. The moratorium would end when either 90 days goes by or the new zoning ordinance is adopted. However, there could be an extension. The ordinance would define zoning codes for medical marijuana processing facilities. It states these facilities must keep at least 1,000 feet away from residential areas and not be located within 1,000 feet of another medical dispensary. These are just a few of the guidelines opponents have an issue with. treating all processors as if they're in one category and they're trying to put them in commercial heavy impact zoning. Um, and then, so what we're looking at is we're looking at people who are using ice water uh, to, to do bubble hash. We're looking at people who are using butane, which is a highly explosive chemical. We're also looking at people who are buying extract and making cookies and brownies and trying to put them in heavy impact industrial zoning. It makes no sense to treat everybody in that classification the same. Members of the public made it clear tonight they feel this moratorium is government overreach. However, city officials say the proposed 90 day period is to allow the city's proposed regulations to be thoroughly discussed before the ordinance is adopted. Now, the vote is not finalized just yet, but after public comment tonight, opponents are hoping that the city uses some restraint. Live in downtown, Corey Duke, two works for you.